And we bad with it. Y'all don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe as you come on in. I appreciate y'all. God is good. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things should be added to you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things should be added to you. All right. And shout out to B-Boss for the topic. All right. And uh, he wanted me to speak on, you know, uh, evil, communica evil communication corrupt good manners. All right. And what that mean is, you know, when you ask God to deliver you from certain things and uh, take you away from certain things, it could be an addiction, it could be vices, it could be uh, people that you actually be around, your lust, whatever, whatever it may be that hinder you from actually seeking God or, you know, hinder you from... Uh, Building yourself, you know, it's building your spiritual stamina, understand, right? So, you know, for the Bible tells us, you know, when you have escaped the pollutions of the, of, of the world, you know, and that's basically God delivering you from whatever it is, you know, you not to say that you can't go back and see these people every now and then, but you have to, you have to, you have to set yourself apart. You have to be set apart, understand, because you are a new creature. For example, I'm a new creature. I have I had my sins washed away, but for for a man to say that he uh for 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 a man to say that he has not sinned is you know what I'm saying the lie you know what I'm saying that's a lie and the truth ain't in him, understand, right? But know that you know you you can't go back and do a lot of the same things you used to do. For the Bible tells us that. Old things become past, become pa become past, and uh, uh, new things become new. Understand? So, hey, that that same person that you used to go by, you know what I'm saying? That you used to smoke weed with, that same person you used to drink with, that same pa that same person you used to fornicate with, that that same person you used to gamble with. Understand? You know that you have to set yourself apart from these people, even if. You know, they might feel like you switching up on them or they might not understand the the the, the path that you're taking. You, and you have to be good with these things. Understand, you have to be uh, well, setting your, well setting yourself and understanding yourself that when you take this, when you take this path that, you know, they might not, they might, they, they might, they might switch up on you. They might not love you like they used to. They might not care about you like they used to. Because they feeling like you switching up on them. They feel like you changing on them. Understand, a lot of people is fearful of change. So, you know, you have to, uh, even even if you're around people who cur curse a lot. Understand. Like, I got a partner. I got a partner who people, you know, they, they cuss a lot and they gossip a lot. You feel what I'm saying? So, when I, when I, when I, when I went down in water and I set myself apart. You know, I had to stay, even though, you know, they still cool people, but I had to set myself apart from them because I know what they do. I know what type of vibrations they be in. I know what type of energy they be in. A lot of things that come out their mouth is not positive. A lot of things that come out their mouth is very negative. You see what I'm saying? I wouldn't even put it past them. if they say, if they talk about me, I wouldn't even put it past them. But... I, I don't, you know, say I don't, I don't, I don't really too much care about that. Like I said, because I know, I know my understanding is open on that. But they are called meddlers. Understand? That's people that gossip. Understand? So, you know, you just have to set yourself apart and be okay with pe uh, people not understanding the path you're taking, the new route you on. You know, you being a new creature. Because if you continue to go around these people. You, you you things that you that you want to be delivered from you can you asking God to take oh Lord Lord please please help me with my lust Lord please help me to take myself out drugs and things like that when you ask God for these things and He deliver you man you got to keep it pushing man and 
and, and, and be and, and actually be you know okay okay with you know that new path man i'm trying to tell y'all but when you if you continue to go around these people and you continue to be around these people know that eventually you going you going to backslide back into it you going back you going backslide into it i'm trying to tell you understand i got a, i got a guy who 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 a, who a guy that's older than me that planted the the uh, the mustard seed in me. He plant he planted the faith in me. He didn't drill it on me. He didn't force me to do it. You know, he just planted that mustard seed, right? And I've been seeking I've been seeking God so much and seeking the knowledge so much that you know he can't he 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 can't even believe that I'm actually seeking God the way you know what I'm saying the way I am because. He was the one that was telling me, I want to say five or six years ago, he was the one telling me, hey, man, uh, you need to see God, man. Just go ahead and, you know, uh, get to learn God, you know, telling me the wonderful things of God. But you have to seek him for yourself. That's what he used to always tell me. You, you have to seek him for yourself. I can tell you all about it, but you got to seek him for yourself. And six years later, I'm at where I'm at, and he done turned. And I'm gonna just say bats. I'm gonna just say he bats like you know. I'm gonna say that he let the distractions and and the lust consume him right now. You know, say so he still got his faith in things like that, and I know he got favor on him and things like that. But but he's consumed right now in lust. Lust is the big thing for him, right? So by me knowing that, I can't continue to hang around him like I used to. I have to be set apart. Yeah, I can go chop it up with him every now and then, but I have to keep my distance because I don't want to lead back into my lust. I don't want to be weak in the flesh like that to the point that I'm giving in to my lust. So I have to keep my distance from him. You see what I'm saying? And I talked to him today, matter of fact. I talked to him today. We had us a long conversation. And, 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 and I love talking to him because, you know, I can talk to him about God. That's somebody who, you know, we can we can throw scriptures back at each other. We can we can uh we can glorify God. We can praise God. We can give him, you know what I'm saying, give him the glory. And um, but at the same time, I know the struggles that he go through, and I go through struggles too. I'm not trying to act like I'm holding it down, but as I turn from things that as I turn from the pollution, because God delivered me from the pollution, understand. So as I turn from the pollution and being deliberate from the pollution, know that I can't do the same things I used to do with him. It ain't just him. I got a bunch of people who I just don't who I just don't go go around every day all the time like I used to. You know what I'm saying? And like I told y'all, man, it, it's a it's a big pill to swallow, and, and and it's a uh and it's some knowledge to come into, you know, and the understanding to come into that. You can't do the same things you used to do because them people will draw you back in. Understand? But what it say? Evil communication corrupt good manners. So you could be you could be delivered from the pollution. With, and now, now you in good manners. But when you slide back, I'm telling you, evil communications, man. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Y'all, that, that's why I say build y'all spiritual stamina up. Now, like I told y'all, like even when y'all see me around my cousin them. They smoke, they smoking, doing what they do, but at the same time, y'all, I wish y'all was there, like, to kind of see everything. Y'all can see that, hey, I can go around them without smoking. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm spiritually, I got spiritual stamina, so I'm able to deal with certain things. But if I just keep being around them, 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 eventually, I'm gonna snap back in my old ways. It have to be some type of set apart. You have to set apart clean from unclean. Holy from unholy. Come on, man. I'm trying to tell you. Righteous, unrighteous. Just, unjust. Come on, man. So understand that you know you a new creature. You know, and, and, and you and it just sir, it just old things become past. You see, you 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 got a new life now. You see what I'm saying? You walk in a different path. You walk in that narrow path. That fit. That many. That few will find. Few will take, few will walk. A lot of people believe, a lot of people care around that Bible, man, but I'm telling you, what I learned is a lot of people do not believe in that Bible. They don't believe in that Bible because, you know, it, a lot of things convict you. It's going to convict you. It's certain things in there that I wish I wouldn't know, that I didn't know. 
but this is what I asked God for, so I can't turn back. If I turn back, if I turn back now, my punishment is going to be seven times worse. If I turn back knowing the knowledge that I know, might as well stay steadfast, keep it moving. Because the Bible do tell us that there will be a fall away. Those who's in the faith will have their time where they fall away. I don't want to be in the fall away. I want to be forever in the faith, knowing that God would do what he said, believe on God and know that he said he was going to do what he was going to do, knowing that he has to fulfill the Bible. He has to fulfill the scriptures. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word should not pass. Come on, man. So I'm trying to tell y'all, man, understand. But be mindful when you repent for your sins and be baptized in water. You know what I'm saying? In the name of Jesus Christ and tarry for the Holy Ghost, knowing that you are a new creature. You have to be set apart. For the Bible tells us, come from among, come from among them, be separate. So you have to start setting yourself apart. You know what I'm saying? Even if people, even if your people feel some type of way, even if your family feels some type of way, even if your friends feel some type of way, you have to set yourself apart and be okay with that. Knowing that they may feel some way about you. They might feel they might feel like you holier than now. But you gotta be okay and say, hey, man, hey, I, this is the path I'm taking. I choose to get right with God before I leave. Cause the message right now is not prosperity, is not uh Money, you know what I'm saying? Prosperity is knowing God, the true wisdom of God. I'm telling y'all, that's the real prosperity, knowing the wisdom of God. And it's not money. In these last days, your goal should be trying to get rich. Your goal should be trying to die right with God before God call you. For your time is up, get right with God. I'm telling you, man. And I know it's not easy. I know it's not easy, but. You have to strive, for this is a striving journey, for this is a failed journey. But the Bible tells us again, a righteous man may fall seven times, but rise again. Come on, man, I'm trying to tell y'all. But knowing when you, God deliver you from the pollutions of the world, knowing that you have to be separate. A lot of things that you used to do, you cannot do no more. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and it's all a balance. I always remember, it's all a balance. You feel me? You're not going to change overnight. So you could be separate and still, you know, still indulge in drinking or smoking. But eventually, you got to make that turn, man. Eventually, you got to make that turn. You're not going to, I know you're not going to change overnight, but eventually, you're going to have to make that turn. And that's, that's where you'll fight. Soon, soon, when you decide to pick up your cross, and, that, and that's basically denying yourself. That's basically denying yourself. When you decide to pick up your cross, denying yourself, that that's when your test start I'm telling you man when you make it up in your mind that you decide to serve jesus christ understand know that your test starts right there and there when you make up your mind that you're ready to do it that you're gonna do it I'm telling you man but just know that when you if you return back to it for the bible tells us uh I think they could say a dog has re, uh, returned back to his vomit. That's when you turn back around and you go back. Yeah, you stop. Yeah, you stop doing this. You gave up the drugs. You gave up the certain vices. You gave up certain. Uh, you 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 you've been delivered from certain uh, addictions. But when you turn back, you see what I'm saying? When you turn back, and the Bible says to say a dog has returned back to his vomit. Come on, man. I'm trying to tell you. So understand that man this 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 journey is a you know a a, a striving journey you know uh uh um uh, you know uh uh, uh just a, a journey a, a journey that's you know that few will take I'm trying to tell you that few going to take because a lot of a lot of a lot of people and, and you know what I'm saying I think about it man as my understanding open you know a lot of people is going to be condemned is because really for one thing Marriage and divorce. A lot of people are gonna be condemned because they don't want to give up them thighs, man. They don't want to give up them. They don't get them thighs, man. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. A lot of people gonna be condemned. A lot of people going to, gonna go to hell. Hell, I'm gonna go to hell if I don't get it right. So I don't want nobody to be like, oh, you you judging a such and such this and such and that. Hey, if I don't do what I gotta do, 
You see what I'm saying? Like you could do you could do what you want to do, but just know that it's consequences doing what you want to do. Know that it's consequences for you want to please your flesh. Cause he she that lives in pleasure is dead while she lives. And I tell y'all, even with fornication, constantly releasing, you don't realize that you killing yourself. You die slowly. I'm telling y'all, man. Trust me now. I'm telling you. Warning come before destruction, man. I'm telling you. Y'all might not believe in heaven or hell, man, but I'm trying to tell y'all, man. It's real. And warning come before destruction. In no day, God gave them folks 120 years to get right. And they wanted to get right at the last minute. Don't wait the last minute, man. Go do it now. The time is now. Strive for it now. Get yourself together now. Come on, man. But no one's God deliver you from these things, knowing that if you return, it corrupts you, you know. Nine times out of ten, you go, you gonna end up going back to what you used to do. So, just be mindful. No, and I said you can't see your people or go around your people. You know what I'm saying? But just that every day hanging out and weekends and all that stuff like that. Every day, how y'all probably used to rock. Nah, man. How you used to go to the club every weekend and things like that. There you go. Every weekend you used to drink, or or, or every day you sm every day you smoke about three, four blunts. Tell you, man, you got to turn from it. Eventually, you got to turn from it. Like I say, you're not going to change overnight. But eventually, you got to turn from it. I'm telling you, man. Get yourself right with God now, man. Because it's tomorrow not promised. And you never know when you're going to go. Get yourself right now, man. Because you do not want to go to a Christless game. I mean, a Christless grave. Understand? But until next time, y'all not tuning to that Reds gonna get. I am your host, Abino Poo Man. Brought to you by Touch Our Family, Criminal Riders in T. What it do, G? And at the Lord's will, we'll be back with another one. Can I testify on behalf of your name, Lord, 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 Lord